Hello students. Myself, Dhanish Biaglavi, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Vajpin Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this session, we will see fins, that is extended surfaces. In part first, its introduction and types. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to explain need of fins and classification that is the types of fins. Here we will see first introduction of fins and types of fins. Now what is fins? So in heat transfer as we know we require to enhance the heat from either the surface to the fluid or vice versa. So what is done? If uh, this is the plane surface, which has temperature Ts, surrounding temperature T infinity. Suppose this surface has area A. Now the transfer of heat from surface to surrounding will occur when Ts is greater than T infinity. Now this mode of heat transfer is the convective mode which will follow the equation Q is equal to HA delta T means Ts minus T infinity. Now as we know to enhance this heat transfer rate, convective heat transfer rate, either we require to increase the H or increase the Ts or T infinity. Now in the convective heat transfer, there are limitations for increasing the H. Now H means convective heat transfer coefficient which depends upon the free convection and forced convection. Up to certain extent by increasing the velocity of a fluid, velocity of the fluid will get maximum H. Beyond that there is need to search for the alternative of enhanced heat transfer. So this has some limitation. Second option to make this uh, maximum is to increase the Ts. As we know the Ts that is the surface will have the same temperature isothermal temperature which is not in our hand. It depends upon the application. For example, in the condenser, the condenser pressure is constant means the tube which is used for the condenser will have the constant temperature. So this also we can't change that is increase. Third option is uh, surrounding fluid temperature. Surrounding temperature once again we can't change, we can't increase the uh, atmospheric temperature it changes from time to time. So this is the unsteady state temperature of the atmosphere. Now increase in Q is possible only if we will increase the surface area. So now it is fixed that Q can be increased by changing the surface area. Now how to increase the surface area? So what we will do? We will start soldering such type of surfaces. So you can call this as the extension, extension of surface. Suppose this is the base plate. On this uh, base plate, we have increased the surface of uh, this base plate by either casting 
this extended surface as the integral part of the base surface. So, this uh, surface area has been increased by 1, 2, 3, back side will be 4, this side will be 5 sides. This extended surface is known as fin. So, it is clear now that the extended surface increases the surface area and will get the enhanced heat transfer. Such surfaces are known as fins. Now, applications. As just now we have seen, for the heat exchanger, fins are used like a condenser. Second, EO operator. Third, radiator and so on. For the domestic refrigerator also, on the back side, the condenser tubes are there. These are the copper condenser tubes. Suppose this is the inlet, this is the outlet. How to increase the surface area? So, small diameter wires are attached to these tubes. These are also called fins. So, these are few applications. We can consider second application as a heat sink used in the CPU. In the CPU, processor needs to be cooled. So, suppose this is the processor chip. On this processor chip, uh, vertical such type of rectangular fins are attached. With these uh, few examples, we will move to the application of uh, fins. We will see different types of fins. First one is the rectangular fin. For for the study of the fins, we will consider this vertical surface as the base surface. If I put such type of rectangle in isometric sketch, such type of uh, plate whose cross section is rectangle. is attached to this uh, base surface whose temperature is T0 is known as rectangular type of the fin. Now you can increase uh, the number of uh, fins. Suppose this is the one then here you can put a second and so on. In second type of the fin that is a trapezoidal trapezoidal type uh, fin on this uh, base surface instead of rectangular cross section we can connect the trapezoidal fin in the third type of the fin that is helical fin. Suppose there is a cylinder which needs to increase the heat transfer, then like uh, these helical plates we can connect to the base surface. So, here <coughs> this is the base surface whose temperature is T s. These are the helical fins. In the fourth type circ uh, circumferential fins suppose this is the cylinder you will find this application 
in the cold storage evaporator where on this evaporator tube through which the refrigerant is uh, flowing which has a low temperature the disk such type of uh, disks are connected so the cooling rate gets enhanced in the fifth type of the fin we are calling it as a longitudinal fin on this <coughs> cylindrical surface longitudinal fins are connected these are the longitudinal fins so we can occupy the complete circumference of the cylinder so these are the types of the uh, fins for further study you can refer a fundamentals of uh, heat and mass transfer by frank in crocara and david uh, will a publication